Hello and welcome. My name is Lori McNorton, Floral Design Coordinator for Super Floral. Today as a part of our series on the how-to videos, I'm going to share with you a design for a winter Christmassy kind of arrangement. We're coming up on Christmas in July, so I think this will be an appropriate centerpiece and um, I think you'll enjoy it. Let's get started. We're going to start out with the little accessory pieces first. And I'm kind of going with a pine cone natural look. So like I said, it can be Christmassy, but then again, it can be winter and um, more of a seasonal. So this is what we're going to accomplish on the little accessory pieces. What I did first was I have this little um, the one inch design tablet from Syndicate Sales. And I really didn't like the white with the natural. So I took some Design Master chocolate brown, you could do October brown, whatever color, and um, spray the base with that, let it dry. And this is what we come up with. So um, I took pan glue and glued my pine cone onto the oasis. Um, and then I just started out with a ring of evergreen. So this is kind of the base, beginning. Next, what I did was I've got some um, curly willow, natural curly willow. And on this curly willow, I kind of left some of the greenery like it, just went out and picked it. So um, take a little bit of that off. But I'm just going to insert it into the oasis. And then I have the blossoms here. We're going to do some um, cushion palms and uh, spray roses. So what I'm going to do is I kind of just want to work this around and I'm going to use the palm to secure that in there. I'm just going to use three cushion palms. have these cute little LED candle candled it and they are just a little battery operated candle and I'm gonna snip this end off looks like something you could hang from but we don't need that so snip that off and grab our yuku dashes a little bit of variegated pit that I'm going to fill in a little bit. And then to finish that off, because sometimes you want to kind of hide a little bit of the mechanics, um, I'm just going to take a little bit of moss. There we have our little accessory pieces. We'll add that to the centerpiece in just a little bit. So let me move these to the side. Our centerpiece is going to again go with our little accent pieces. It's going to have the same natural materials, evergreen, the curly willow, the fresh flowers, and the pine cones. So what I'm going to do is start with the rectangular container. Um, I have got some salal tips here. And really I'm going to keep this centerpiece very low. So, um, but I do want to cover the side of the container a little bit. All right, pretty good start there. I'm going to some fresh evergreen. I 
can you can use whatever greenery you have. Um, I like the different textures, different looks. Then. Now what I'm kind of trying to go for is kind of that little nesting look. So I'm going to take my curly willow and kind of start that nest, start wrapping around and kind of getting that nest look. I have greening pins that are going to help me keep this curly willow where I want it to go. No right or wrong way to do this. I think we're getting there. Like I said, the arrangement's going to be down in here, so we've kind of got a like, nice little nest here to do the arrangement. Next, what we're going to do is add our pine cones. Now, I did the pine cones the same as we did the little accent pieces with the candles. And I kind of want to share with you how easy it is if you go out and pick pine cones to use those. So I'm just taking a wire, go around the base a couple times. Sometimes you already have the picked pine cones, but I just went out in the yard and picked these up off the ground pine tree so now I've kind of got three different kinds three different sizes of pine cones here what I want to do is cluster them and then do almost like a pave arrangement with that so this is a very easy centerpiece to make and it really doesn't take a lot of flowers for the impact. Okay, so we have our little cluster pine cones. And the same thing, just gonna kind of finish those off with some moss. Just give it that natural nature look. fresh flowers. And again, we're going to use the uh, pom-poms and the spray roses. So. Well, stems of each would be plenty for this. All right, and I'm just going to start filling in. I want some low because I'm going to keep some very close to the oasis and then bring some up so we have some dimension. So this is one of those centerpieces you're going to really want to get down in there and kind of look and see what all it's made out of. Kind of a fun centerpiece. Some roses. I want some high, some low. Kind of group my flowers together so you really have some interest. We don't want to hide our pine cones.
blossoms here and we've got it. that's all the flowers you need but we do have a few little holes here so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the moss besides covering up some of the mechanics it also again kind of gives you that natural nature look and there we have the centerpiece now let's turn the lights on just because it's pretty on its own. But how nice would it be to have these little accessories going down the table or perhaps on each person's place setting so that everybody has a parting gift to go home with. For these techniques and more, you can find them in the print edition of the July issue of Super Floral. And join us next month. Until then, have a super floral day.